Can't wait to see what happens. Right now. Move in. Come on, Joe. Get out. I know. It's him. It's that man. He's been following us. I don't believe it. Not John. What you choose to believe, Miss Watkins, is your concern. My concern is to find this man called John Fisher before anyone gets hurt. Get down. No. Please, John. I am trying to help you because you have no idea the danger they are in. And the last place on earth they want to be is with Mr. French. Now, you're not going to do anything stupid, are you? We've got to trust one another. We've got to get out of here and we've got to find out what's happened to your dad. So, uh, what was the true nature of your wife's research? I think what's in here will help us find out what happened to Mum. Then why hasn't Dad done anything about it? Exactly. Either he's done nothing or he's been lying to us for years. She's still alive, isn't she? Paddy's still alive. Well, your mum left on a plane and it was thought she had something with her. Some soil samples in six test tubes. They're the ones. Do you know where they are? If you do, you must tell me. In the car, boy. Come on, in the car. They must have got to Jules. No. Harry, look. Not Jules. No. Look, whatever. They have now got your dad, Zilla and Joe. Which that means you're stuck with me. All right? we need to do is give your neighbour a ring. Miss Watkins? You got a number? But what for? Well, see if she can help. Crap, but she's not good. She managed to help your dad. When? He was driving her car, remember? Yeah, but... She's got to know something. Look, Harry, I don't like this either. But what else can we do? Hello? 
Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Where's Harry? Where? What? You told me they were all safe. Where's Harry? Careful. We don't want anything to happen in front of the children, do we? I'm sorry about that, John. A slight misunderstanding. Oh, really? So, this is Zilla and Joe. How do you do? My name's Elizabeth. I need to ask them a few questions. No, not after what they've just been through. They don't need questions. They're exhausted. Look at them. Very well. Take them upstairs and get them cleaned up first. And you can stay here. What else did she say? She thinks you got some money. What? She said your dad mentioned something about money and that you and Zilla probably found it. No. Oh, well. That's that idea up the spout, then. What? Oh, do matter. No, what? Your dad kept some money, just in case this sort of thing should happen. <laughs> and when I was talking to him, oh, a couple of days ago, he thought the best idea was to get hold of a boat, take to the sea. That way, he could keep everybody together, but keep on the move. Till he found out what was going on. Harry. Look, do you honestly think I don't know what's in that bag? Nothing. Nothing, just clothes. By the way, your dad, Zilla and Joe, they're back at home. Seems they're under house arrest. But how do you know that? Crabface told me. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, why should I? Why should I tell you anything? <laughs> you don't trust me as far as you can spit me. Are you sure? Are you sure that's that? Yes, and Alice thinks she can get a message to him. How? I don't know. Look, Harry. I need to hire a boat, so I'd be grateful if you'd just hand over the money. I haven't got any. Harry. Thank you. Right, I won't be long. There are some charts and some maps in the booth. Get those out. Can you describe to me that man who's been helping you? Can you tell me, what does he look like? This is your first and last warning. Next time I'll have you removed from the room. Zilla, Joe, this is extremely important. Your father's in a lot of trouble and you can help him by telling me about the man who's been helping you. Is he tall, short, fat, thin? Thin. And what colour hair does he have? Reddish. And have you ever met him before? Yeah. Where? Shopping. Shopping. Good. Well, that's okay then. You've been safe. You see, we've been very worried that the person who's been trying to help you is not like that at all. He's not thin. In fact, he's quite fat. And he calls himself dirt, doesn't he? And he's a very, very dangerous man. Well, that's not fair. This isn't a game, John. You're just trying to frighten them. I'm telling them the truth. And if they're frightened, then maybe that's because the truth is something they're not used to. What do they know, John? I mean, really know. Joe, do you know what your real name is? Benjamin Hoyle. I see. Look, this really isn't getting anywhere. They're both very tired, and they should have been in bed long ago. And I know what you're looking for, but we haven't got them. Joe. But what? And I know what he does. Joe. Who does? That man. What does he do, Joe? He's a bank manager. We'll continue this in the morning.
Joe, you're in there. Ready? Just getting to cut me, Joe. Come on. Well, Trisha, it's okay. You can come out now. You're right. Hey, come on, don't worry. Harry will be fine. He'll turn up. And what they said about Dirk, it's not true, all right? Come on, come on. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. All my stupid fault. I won't do it again. I won't leave you again. Promise. I promise. That's better. That's better. They won't take you away, will they? I doubt it very much. Do those test tube things? That's what they want. Do you know where they are? Harry's got them. Put your stuff in there. No, I'd rather keep them with me. What, even your wet trousers? No, I'll put those in there. Harry, whatever else you've got in that bag, I'm not going to nick it. First thing tomorrow morning, we need to get some supplies. Enough for a couple of weeks. But Dad doesn't know I've got the bow yet, does he? Oh, you've little faith. Are they going to ask us more questions? They might. Depends if they find Harry or not. Do you think they will? I don't know. If they don't, what do we tell them? You can tell them what you like. At this stage, I really don't think it makes a lot of difference. So you don't have to worry, do you? Okay? Okay. Good night. Good night.
I'm all right. All set? Mm -hmm. Wish I was. <laughs> well, can you let me know how everything goes? Yeah, we will. And thank you for everything. It's nothing. It's my pleasure. You better get off. <laughs> get going. Dear of the risk he's taking. Do you know where they've gone? Hello. Is that Alice Watkins? Yes. I'm sorry to bother you. You don't know me, but I'm a friend of John Fisher's. Okay, that'd be brilliant. And say uh, I'll get hold of a pelican somehow. He'll understand. And I'll meet him. Well, I know all this sounds a bit cloak and dagger, but he'll know where. They rang again this morning to make sure they got away safely. The call came from a phone box in Whitby. Are you sure you don't want to come? No, I'll be fine. I mean, you're only going to pick them up, aren't you? Yeah. So what's the point? I might as well stay here. As long as you stay outside. Yeah. All right, not even on deck. OK? Very nice, and she's been very helpful, but the answer is no. Come on, Joe. Come in. Come on, Joe. No, come on, it's dirt. Come on, catch up. Somebody who eats too much and snores. No, we don't really. <laughs> what? Harry! I told him to stay. You don't think... No, 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 no. He's probably gone walk about. If it's them, maybe swarming all over it. No, no. I'm sorry, John. No, don't worry. It's typical of Harry to do something like this. Look, shall I go? No, no, you stay here. I don't want you getting involved just in case there's any... Um... Any what? Just stay there. But, Dad! John! On the way back from the shops, he tried to make a phone call. Probably what you're looking for. How do we know? Tell him, Harry. Tell him what's in here. Test tubes. And how many? Six. Yankee Lima from Yankee Lima One. No, you. You make the decision. I need authorization. I can't be bothered to wait for you. Run, Harry. The 
Where's your bucket required? Come on, come on! Just get it! Harry, start the engine, will you? You've got your life jackets on. Yeah. Harry, get a life jacket on. Good luck! Send your postcard. News, of course, being reunited even with their dad. Um, a brand new series next week. Yeah, that's next week. It's going to be excellent. It certainly is. Yeah, I'll tell you what else is excellent. The retrace winner who set the competition last week and he's won himself his fabulous top bike. His name is Lee Page and he's from Manchester. Well done, Lee, and this is what's coming up tomorrow.